if I'm not mistaken. Rodin's work was influenced by his wife, Camille. Rose was the one. No, he was never married to Rose. I hope you're not going to be as antisocial tomorrow. I'm not quite as taken with him as you are. He's a pseudo-intellectual. Slightly more tannic than the 59. I prefer a smoky feeling. <laughs> that is a Woody Allen film uh, called Midnight in Paris. We're back, back with Greg Malone of Road Pictures now, talking about the summer blockbusters and those that are kind of sneaking up on us. This is one of those movies. Yeah, it's a, it's a small movie. Yeah. You know, uh, Woody Allen is uh, is behind the camera only on this one. Uh, might be a good good thing. Uh, and it's a it's a nice little uh, entertaining. Uh, it's very fluffy. It's not. It doesn't. Uh, doesn't not gonna last a long time after you leave the theater, but it's very enjoyable. It is a, uh, a romantic comedy about about a screenwriter who goes to Paris. Correct. And uh, his life changes. Well, he uh, he uh, is having a little tough time with his wife and her her his fiance, her their friends and her parents, and uh, suddenly he finds himself uh, thanks to uh, a car that comes trundling down the street at midnight every night, uh, transported back to hang out with Gertrude Stein and Ernest Hemingway and some of the people who lived in Paris uh, back in the in the 30s. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 3D movies are well, big, almost everything's in 3D right yeah. now. <laughs> Midnight in Paris is not. Midnight in Paris obviously <laughs> is not. <laughs> Nor is uh, the movie we'll talk about a little later on called Beginners, but. Uh, 3D movies are, as there are so many of them, yeah. and I, the, first of all, I think the thrill may be gone, or are they run it, they're on their course. Probably? I don't think so. I, I think that, uh, you know, unlike uh, previous uh, episodes when 3D had tried to make inroads, that the technology has now improved, and they've proven uh, over and over again uh, in the last few years that people are willing to pony up an extra three or four dollars to go see a movie. So instead of 10 bucks, it's 14, and people are willing, seem to be willing to pay for it. The latest Pirates movie, I believe, is in 3D. Is that right? I believe so. We have a clip of that. Let's just talk about as we uh, look at it. This, of course, is a Johnny Depp movie. Uh, we, don't have the, we don't have the Pirates. Okay, but this is a 3D movie, uh, and it, it, too, is getting fairly mixed reviews. Isn't very, it? very mixed reviews, yeah. yeah you know, and, and I think uh, you're seeing that uh, the... Uh, we're seeing that, uh, I don't know, for a lot of moviegoers, I think the bloom is off the rose mm -hmm. for, for the 3D and for the, the comic book stuff, but, you know, they keep... Keep bringing it out. But that actually is an interesting trend, though, with all these comic book films and the 3D films, is that you know they're not just made for Americans. They really are made for an international audience. And and Hollywood gets you know a number of years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, Hollywood still got the lion's share of, share of its revenues from America and Canada. Now the overseas revenues, Europe, South America, Asia. Are really are really dominating, and that's why you see very international casts. That's why you see a lot of British actors. That's why you see these storylines that can, where you know, if the actor's voice gets dubbed, because people in Spain and uh, Japan don't like to watch subtitles any more than the average American, and so they their voices get dubbed. And these action pictures, these cartoony pictures, these comic book pictures, they're very easy to translate into lots of different languages. And if uh, if all the action is taking place on uh, some distant moon. You know, the cultural differences that divide us sometimes on Earth, you know, they'll play less of a role. Yeah, there's a movie that's coming out <clears throat> which is intriguing on its face, and that's called Aliens uh, and Cowboys. It's a uh, 19th century American West, obviously, with aliens figuring in the picture. Aliens invading the small town, and Harrison Ford is there. Here we see Harrison Ford in the movie. Tell us about what's going on here. Well, you know, I, I, you have to give uh, somebody some props for mixing a couple of genres. This that, is a new idea, actually, one yeah, of the few I mean, new ideas. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, Hollywood always likes to mix things up, and nobody's mixed up things quite like this, at least not to this budget realm, bef you know, before. Yeah, and so this is a case where they, they encounter the aliens, and uh, I suppose it's 19th century uh, warfare against the... Uh, I, I think the, the uh, cowboys have to outthink those aliens. <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll, we'll see, soon find out. Okay. Well, it looks like an interesting movie, and it's obviously a, a, an original idea. Very few of those out there right now. Right, a lot right. of sequels, a lot of comic book stuff. A lot of sequels, a lot of comic books, book adaptations, pre-sold. Twilight is coming out again, you know, another Twilight movie. There's so much of that, but obviously they're selling tickets. Making money. Greg Malone is back with us right after this.